I, I don't know about this nonsense. Now, why she can't make a regular phone call like regular people, yeah? Now, when, when this computer gonna ring? Grandpa? Yeah! Uh, uh, we are do staring at a blank screen on the computer. Like the social distancing guy you're running mad over. No, it's that woman I marry got me running mad. <laughs> Look, even though she's still at a social distance all the way in Canada. Mm. But uh, tell me something. Is, is how you get till here? I ain't even hear you. <laughs> Wait. You sanitize your hand? Yeah, yeah. Up, and please put on your mask. Eh? Me sanitize my hand, but me stay six feet away from you, man. Social distancing. <laughs> so when Mama G come back, what are you going to do? I think it's good of the government to allow people to uh, come back to their own country. Eh? Mm. It's a terrible time to be you're all alone in your country without your loved one with you. Mm, I tell you, boy. And, and in your own home at that. See, you're excited to see your wife, eh, Grandpa? <laughs> Mama J, truly delighting in your life, eh? Yeah, she is. She's delighting my life, but she's also the downfall of my nerves, I tell you. Now, when this computer going to start ringing? Grandpa, the phone in your pocket a ring. She'll call you on Zoom. Me, me better tell Susan for letting her know before she take your phone and download them. Hey, lady, don't sneak up on me like that. But tell me something, how come your face ain't ringing upon the computer? Eh? <laughs> and besides, you know, I could have been doing something uh, naughty. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. What's going on with your face? Are you coming down with something? Look, tell me now so I can stay where I am. Hey, buddy boy. What we can do for you? Um, oh, Uncle Sonny. Thank you for answering. I need you to do me a huge favor. Yeah, me, me, me can tell Susan that you've been by me whole night. <laughs> but you're going to owe me back one big favor too, you know. Uncle Sonny, what are you talking about? I will never need you to tell a lie like that. I don't plan on lying to Susan at any time. Hi, David. I'm a little busy, you know. May I go home for check my Instagram to see how my picture that I look. Hi, <laughs> David. You think me can be a good Instagram model? I, I, I got the looks, right? <laughs> me just come back by the old man to see how we go. I want you to go to the airport to pick up Mama G. You're not being answering me on the Instagram model thing, though, you know? You told me not to lie. So why you not go pick she up yourself, eh? Me sure say she asks you for go pick she up. Plus, me got to go tell a GRA for go pay some of me taxes. And David, you know how them line long, long like camp street, eh? Plus, me got to look for some contractor, we got some big equipment for do some big work me got to do. David, but well, you know any big contractor you can recommend? Yes, firstly, I can text you the number for Geico Construction and Chung's Global. You could try them both and choose any one you want. Secondly, you don't have to go to GRA on Camp Street. You could go to GPO building that you used to pay taxes in town. Um, there you could pay taxes, you could pay your VAT, you could pay anything you want. Just, just go and you can get through fast. They don't have any line or anything. Right? You can owe me for that one. And thirdly, yes, Susan did ask me to go to the airport, but you know I'm an essential worker. I got a lot going on here right now. I can't really leave. Let us cooperate for Guyana. Leave your shoes at the door. Sanitize your shoes regularly. Wash your hands. Scrub it well. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Stop the spread. Don't touch your nose. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. 
Don't touch your ears. We are all in this together. Don't rub your eyes. We're all in this together. Don't go in crowds. Sneeze in your shirt. Cough in a tissue. Or elbow. If you don't have a tissue, we are all in this together. Stay at home. We are all in this together. We are all in this together. We are all in this together. Let us cooperate. Essential? <laughs> Meaning all human beings does be essential? What does that even mean? Me used to talk to this real fancy lady by. She used to tell me, drop me in town to pick up my essentials. <laughs> you know, essential mean woman business, right? <laughs> okay, Sonny. Do me a of favor. Just stand up still and just shake your brain. Just shake it like this, just like this, so you can break or go back in place. Obviously, it misplaced. <laughs> Look, essential means necessary, important, and you know I'm an essential worker. Yes, I used to work with the force, now I'm working with CDC. All right? So I'm just like the nurses and the doctors and all the, the um, joint service employees. Eh eh. So you more important than them people who are working in the market them. Them people who work mini bus. Them people who work hospital. Them people who work a clean up place and a taxi driver. You in essential more than all them there? Yes, Uncle Sonny. Everybody important in the different lines of work. And we should all be respected as such. Now, for the favor. Me love Mama G, right? But me friend for go to the airport and meet up all them people who are bring Corona to our country. All those people were screened and tested before they even went on the plane. And the airport? The airport more clean than me and you house. Well, maybe me should go live at the airport then. Hmm, yeah, that would be good for all of you. How you say? I mean, I said, I wonder when you will decide that you're going to do this favor for me. But you're going to still owe me like how you want me to lie to your wife for you, you know? Y yes, Uncle Sonny, whatever you say, um, it's right at Ogle you got to go. Ogle? Why you Ogle? The big airport now work? Yes, it is, but this flight coming from Canada to Barbados, then to Eugene, Korea. Uncle Sonny, you don't have to worry, right? They got the airport well sanitized, COVID free. Me thought you say, Ogle oh, David, look, make up your mind, huh? Because me not get gas for race. Me don't know how far the Eugene, Korea airport there. Uncle Sonny, you don't do the thing what I just asked if you do. You don't shake your brain back in place. Ogle is Eugene Karaya Airport, Uncle Sonny. They give it the name and it's still Ogle. Oh God. Now, um, please, hurry up and go. You got about two hours before the flight arrives. Days like this, my mama said. Nonsense. I was just making a little joke. I, I, I want to know what time you're going to arrive. I want to pick you up myself. See why I didn't tell you I was coming? But Susan said the surprise might give you a heart attack. So I decided to give you a heads up. So now that I'm sitting here, waiting to board my flight from Barbados to Georgetown, don't make me regret it. No, Mr. Man. Wasn't your license suspended? Nonsense. Nothing in the world surprises me at my age. And besides, what the law don't know, they can't punish you for. But I will know. And I'm not going to break the law in my country. I will not drive around my country with a shameless lawbreaker. So goodbye. And I will see you in a few. Days like this. My mama said. Days like this. Days like this. I am a guy. Days like this. My mama said. Days like this. I am a guy. Days I am a Guyanese. I am a Guyanese. I am a Guyanese. We are we all are Guyanese. We are we one are nation. One nation. That's, That's who we are.
doing here? David sent me for pick you up, car. He, he come here, come. Oh, thank God. I thought I would have seen my husband intentionally breaking the law and driving. He, he likes to get suspended? Yes, but he doesn't seem to care. But, but, Sonny, why are you dressed in this full PEE -E gear? You're an essential worker like David. Eh? You mean you're talking about my COVID clothes? <laughs> yes. PPE, Personal Protection Equipment. And it's abbreviated PPE. So it yeah. clothes are equipment now? Well, you can say garment too. But equipment is appropriate, right? Because the people who wear it are actually working in it. Hence, it's essential for their protection, like a tool. Hence, hence equipment. Come, Sonny. Come put these things here so in the car. So I could get for go and do my mandatory quarantine. So people are essential and closer equipment. Oh me, mama, look how much information me I get from COVID today. <laughs> oh, let me go home and put up on my Instagram. Don't no, look, don't wet me, don't no, wet me. Don't wet me, I'll spray you. Oh, 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 oh. Put your one hand to that. Mama G, this is how it is your own good. Listen, listen. Me don't want COVID kill me. No, look at that. Look at me, Mama Oh, don't set me up. Open your hand, let me put anything nice. Sonny, so have to yourself, no? Sonny, I had to quarantine all the time when I went in, in Canada. You don't want me to. Welcome home, Mama G. <laughs> it must be good for me to be back with your, your friends and family, them, na girl? <laughs> and look, Mabel, she sent this gear. It's polori and cake. The polori make with the milk or polori mix. And the cake mix with the vanilla mix. <laughs> girl, me could always get a smell when me smell them. Look, girl, she said you want to like them. Well, I am excited to be home. It's not nice to be away from your family for so long, you know? Regardless of the circumstances, I am so happy to be home in my beautiful country. It is an awesome feeling. <laughs> so, so you don't, you don't mind even if you have for, for, for quarantine for two weeks, girl? I don't mind. As long as I'm home, I can manage. It's I who agree to do it, and I can do it like a champ. You know, you know, look, I'm telling you, the important thing here is that it's not just for me, it's for everybody who I get, get in contact with. Protecting yourself by, by social distancing, by, by um, putting on a mask, or by even quarantine if it needed, is the most unselfish act I could think about. Make sure grandpa and I lose the way in the night time, you know, and lock up yourself tight, tight, y'all. <laughs> Hi, Mama G, are we gonna turn down the line tap on good tongue, right? All right, son. Sonny, you know that here was the old railway line? Guyana was the first country in South America that had train. We had train since 1899. You mean, at the same train line that take a Mac road? What? That's a historical thing, that girl. Me remember, one time at the Queen of England, as somebody made to come here and travel upon this same train line there. Yes, you're right. Turn down here, Sonny. Let me get some nice seawall breeze. You know we got to set thanks to the Dutch for building the seawall. Eh? Oh my gosh, I'm going to enjoy the little seawall breeze now that I come back to Guyana. Oh, my beautiful Guyana. Awesome place. Awesome. Mama G, you want to read this make one and stop on the seawall? Make going show you two four right fish. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Days like this. I said, my mama said. Days like this. My mama said. Days like this. I said, my mama said. Days like this. I said, my mama said. Tell me it's days like this. My mama said.
mama said this like this. She told me it's this like this. My mama said this.